Did you know that INFPs are one of the rarest Meyer-Briggs types among men, with male INFPs making up only 1 to 1.5% of the population? Highly imaginative and empathetic, famous INFP men include William Shakespeare, George Orwell, and J.R.R. Tolkien. And while this field is gifted at many things, relationships don't always come easy to them. In fact, INFPs frequently find themselves single and unable to hold down a long-term relationship. Today on Charisma, we're going to look at the 10 reasons INFP men are always single. But first, what makes up an INFP? And how do you know if you're one? INFPs are made up of a combination of four different dimensions. Dimension 1, Introversion, I. Dimension 1 is based on the idea of how someone derives their energy. Introverts or those with an introversion dimension get energy from being alone. Those with extroversion, on the other hand, get charged up by being around others. Dimension 2, Intuition, N. If you're focused more on imagination than facts and reason, you likely have intuition as your second dimension. INFP men have a strong intuition dimension, making them highly creative. Dimension 3, Feeling, F. This third dimension refers to how someone makes decisions and is divided into feeling and sensing. INFP men have feeling as their third dimension, meaning that they make decisions based on their emotions. Those with a sensing dimension come to conclusions based on facts or by using their heads, not their hearts. Dimension 4. Perceiving. P. INFP men are spontaneous and abhor rigid schedules and timelines. That gives them perceiving as their fourth dimension. This is in contrast to the counterpart to perceiving, judging, which means someone is highly organized. So, why is this type so bad at relationships? Number one, he's spontaneous. The fourth dimension that INFP men have is the perceiving dimension. This means that they're spontaneous, casual about time, and adverse to rigid structures. While an INFP man might initially attract someone who's drawn towards his spontaneous, carefree nature, over time, this might drive his partner crazy. If he's always late to events or dates, his partner might think that he just doesn't care about the relationship or value it enough. In such a situation, an INFP man might experience one of two outcomes. One, the relationship might fall apart because his partner thinks he's flaky. Or two, he might try to force himself to become more rigid, but end up a miserable version of himself in the process, which will also likely lead to the relationship falling apart. Number two, they're introverted. INFP men are highly introverted. While they enjoy spending time with small groups of people, they need time alone to recharge afterwards. Furthermore, because they value their imaginations, they often prefer time alone than time with others. As you can imagine, this doesn't bode very well with their dating life. An INFP man might have trouble finding a partner simply because he's not out and about in the world enough to meet someone. But even if he does find someone, he may have a hard time maintaining the relationship because he needs so much time alone. That's because to his partner, his introversion might seem like he's avoiding spending time together or just doesn't care about the relationship. Number three, they have strong values. INFPs have strong moral convictions. Once they have formed a belief about something, they will fight to the end to defend it. And while there is nothing wrong with having a strong value system, INFP men often expect those around them to conform to the same beliefs. If an INFP man finds himself in a relationship with someone who has different values, he might try to convince them to change their belief system, or he might hold off on dating altogether until he finds that perfect person who adheres to his values. Although there are certainly some values that no one should have to compromise on, this can become problematic when an INFP man refuses to compromise on even the little things. His idea that he should be able to find someone who is perfectly aligned with everything he believes in is obviously not a recipe for finding a partner. As a result, he may often find himself single. Number four, they're empathetic. INFP men are incredibly empathetic. This means that they feel the emotions of others almost as if they were their own emotions. They are often considered emotional sponges as an INFP man can walk into a room and seemingly absorb the emotions of everyone around him. While his empathy can be a valuable asset, it can have negative effects if it's not properly managed. An INFP man can easily find himself emotionally drained when he's dating or in a relationship because he has the tendency to take on the emotions of those around him. An INFP man 
typically deals with this in one of two ways. The first way is that he might feel the need to spend more time away from his partner so that he can recover from the emotional energy that he expends being empathetic. The second way that he might cope is by putting up a wall when he's around his partner to guard himself from their emotions. And while he's not doing this out of any malevolence, his partner might not read it as such. In fact, they might misread his guardedness as a desire to avoid emotions instead of a protective mechanism. Number five, they're imaginative. Some of the most creative people in the entire world have been INFPs. We've already mentioned INFP men like William Shakespeare, George Orwell, and J.R.R. Tolkien. And the secret behind their prolific creativity is the imagination derived from their intuition dimension. The intuition dimension not only means that imagination comes easily to INFP men, but also that they enjoy spending time in their heads. However, if taken too far, this can be detrimental to their relationships. When an INFP man spends so much time wrapped up in his imagination, it results in him spending less time in the physical world. When in a relationship, an INFP man's partner might become annoyed with his daydreaming and think he's being spacey, or even worse, neglectful. For instance, an INFP man might find his mind wandering during a conversation with a date. To him, he's just distracted by his imagination, but to his date, it might seem like he's being distant or not paying attention. Number six, they're idealistic. Because of their intuition dimension, INFP men are not only highly imaginative, but also incredibly idealistic. They have a tendency to see the world through rose-colored glasses, and this attitude extends to their love life. In fact, they are known for being hopeless romantics. However, this can lead to problems for an INFP man when his idealism is out of touch with reality. He might struggle to find a partner who fits his unrealistically high expectations. And even if he does manage to find this person, he may have a hard time maintaining the relationship because he loses interest when the relationship isn't meeting his ideal vision. That's because he wants a relationship like the one he sees in a Hollywood rom-com without the ugly realities that day-to-day -day life in a committed partnership can bring. Of course, if he's unwilling to take off these rose-colored glasses, he will likely give up the ability to find a long-term partner. Number seven, they're misunderstood. INFPs are one of the most misunderstood of all the Myers-Briggs types, and this especially applies to INFP men. Because an INFP man is quiet and spends a lot of time in his head, it can be difficult for those around him to know what he's thinking. This can scare off a potential partner, as they might feel they're unable to get to know him. Furthermore, while the fact that INFP men have so many emotions might make it seem like they should be good at expressing them, the opposite is often true. In fact, INFP men are so emotional that they have a hard time drilling down on what it is that they are feeling. Ironically, this can make them appear closed off, which is the opposite of what they are. Number eight, they hate conflict. There's a reason that INFPs have the nickname the mediator. This personality type despises conflict and wants nothing more than for everyone to get along. However, sometimes conflict is necessary for growth. An INFP man can fall short in relationships when they fail to realize this. For instance, an INFP man might try to quickly shut down a disagreement with their partner without fully hearing their point of view. This isn't because he doesn't want to hear what they have to say, but just he wants to avoid an argument at all costs. But to his partner, it might feel like he's brushing them off or disregarding their side to a story. Number 9. They hold very high standards. People often say that you need to be good with yourself before you can get into a serious relationship. There's the old adage, for instance, that you need to put your own oxygen mask on before helping others. In other words, if you're not in a healthy place in your own life, it's unlikely that you'll be able to be in a healthy relationship. INFP men, unfortunately, often suffer from depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. This may be due to a lot of different factors, but a key one is that they're highly self-critical. They often set unrealistically high expectations for themselves, and if they fall short of these, they blame themselves for not being good enough. This makes it challenging for INFP men to find a healthy relationship because they're often not in a mentally good place. This means that even if they have a supportive partner, they may lack the ability to reciprocate and truly be there for the other person. As you probably guessed, this type of relationship is rarely sustainable. What about the differences between INFP and INFJ? Watch this video to learn about that.